Hi, I'm Amy from cybernews.com, a source of advice for more secure online choices. Let's talk anonymity. Did you know that it's not just the sender address that you're sharing when you send an email. Within an email, there's actually a lot more information that could be used to identify you. Just one look at the full email header can provide routing information. And this alone could be enough to identify you. So, what do you do when you want to send sensitive information? Anonymous email. Let's look at the best options you have to send an anonymous email. Sure, you'll get a pretty decent service when using a standard email provider, but this alone can leave your privacy at risk. And it's no secret that these services have to generate income. And big shocker, that's usually from ads. But how do they know that you're in the market for a new pair of shoes? By following your browsing habits. So each email has a header. This is where the metadata information is stored. A sender's IP address can then be viewed by anyone who's curious enough to look at the X, originating IP or original IP lines. Then from the IP address, you can collect ISP and nearest address information. This means information such as your city, state, zip code, internet service provider, and more could be in reach for a cyber criminal. So let's look at how to send an anonymous email. First of all, if you're looking to send a private email, it's important to remember two things. Hide your real IP address and use a secure email service provider. Sure, Yahoo and Google are pretty good with storage simplicity, but they're lacking in the privacy department. So if you're serious about your security, you'll need to look elsewhere. Whilst there's not a one fixed solution, if you're after private conversation via email, you've got a couple of options. Use an encrypted email service. This functions just like your regular service, but way safer. It not only covers your emails, but inbox and contact list too. So anyone that's spying on your traffic can wave goodbye to actually reading your emails. Now, we've all heard of a burner phone, seen in Breaking Bad and similar boss TV shows. Burner emails are the same thing, used temporarily and then disposed of in a less dramatic sense, sadly. They'll help you fight spam when registered on shady websites. Usually, they'll expire after a fixed period or you'll be able to send a message without actually registering, meaning there's no account to track back to you. Sounds nice, right? Though this might not be an everyday fix, resetting accounts registered on a burner address can get a little tricky. So use burner emails when you know there's little chance you'll need to use it again in the future. Hide your IP address. If you want prime anonymity, it's important to hide that IP. A sure way to do this is by using a no logs VPN or a Tor browser. A VPN will hide your actual address through encryption and Tor will pass your connection through network nodes, making you virtually untraceable. There are even some VPNs that use these technologies in conjunction for prime security. Is Outlook more secure than Gmail? Does Gmail reveal your IP address? There's a whole FAQ section and article about anonymous emails on our website. The link is down in the description. Remove the metadata from the files. When you're sending a Word document, the metadata in the file could be your giveaway. Metadata is data that gives information about other data. Your full name and personal information could be hiding within this metadata. A way around being traced when sending documents is take a screenshot and strip any EXIF data from it. On Windows, you can even find a built-in tool called Document Inspector. With this, you can remove all the information from a file so that it isn't shared with this file. Or if you really can't live without Gmail or Yahoo, you could simply create a new account using false information. But it's important to remember your cyber movements will still be tracked. And these companies are required to share this information with the po-po. Let's move on to the big guys. ProtonMail, Tutanota, Secure Email and Gorilla Mail. Whilst any of these email providers will offer a much more anonymous platform than generic providers, let's take a closer look at what they offer. ProtonMail, offering a free and paid plan and PGP encryption for your emails. They even guarantee a no logs policy, so if the police come sniffing, they would have nothing to show them. One downside is that in order to confirm your account, you'll be likely to ask to provide a telephone number. Tutanota, this provides end-to-end -end encryption, sends encrypted messages to non-users and even offers encryption for email and contacts. Secure email. Secure emails uses a form of encryption to guarantee that your communications stay private. They're even transparent about their privacy policy and don't log your IP address. A pretty notorious option is Gorilla Mail. You can even send messages without an account. The time has come to take your cybersecurity seriously and try to think outside of generic email providers. 
The best option would be to combine several methods to reach the ultimate level of privacy and security. This will not only help you stay secure when writing private emails, it will help you to be vigilant in your daily browsing. So for more information, don't be a stranger. Click on the link down in the description and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Until next time.